How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Blade, and this is not really going to be like a normal video that I post. I mean, yeah, it is on zombies, but it's a different kind of zombies video that's go to you, and I still actually have a few zombies to take care of. I am also on a somewhat low round, so... That'll get nice. Out for a few. Is there another zombie over here? I thought I saw another one. I guess not. Oh, there... There's another one technically over here. <laughs> Die, you undead flesh addict! So this is, in a way, like a tutorial, I guess. Because I'm not sure how many people actually know about this. But when I go into this first room over here, I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know about the little, I guess you would call it a glitch, with uh, Quick Revive, where you can go over here, go prone, and get that 100 points that I've already gotten. I usually get that in the start of the game. So people usually already know about that. I mean, that's no big deal. It's whatever. But then I actually found out, not by just playing this map, but by playing like custom maps, even by playing a couple other ones, that apparently if you go to some other perks, hi zombie, I don't know if you're the last one. But apparently if you go to other perks, it does the same damn thing. So you guys just saw I went prone at Mule Kick. And it did the same thing. It gave me uh, 100 points, like Quick Revive would do as well. But then go over to Sleight of Hand, other known as Speed Cooler, go prone to that one, another 100 points. So it looks like every single uh, perk on the map on Black Ops 3, Zombies, it actually will give you an extra 100 points. And there were a couple um, run throughs I've done on this game already. This is. Um, Juggernaut, another 100 points. So another uh, few run-throughs I've done, I've done the same thing because I wanted to test it out to see if it was actually accurate. And at least on Kino, so this is double tap, and another 100 points. So that's literally all the perks on this map. That's Quick Revive, Juggernaut, Double Tap, um, Mule Kick, Sleight of Hand, every perk on this map. So... I tested it out on Kino to Toten, and seems to... Oh, you are glass on me. Cool. I've noticed that every perk on at least this map, and on other custom zombies maps I've uh, gone on to, that you go prone, and apparently it gives you the extra 100 points at every perk. I've also tested it on the Giant, which is... A, I, I guess technically that's a DLC map. I mean, you still have to pay, what, the 5 bucks for it or whatever to get it. But it is an actual Treyarch map, it's not a custom map, as a lot of you probably already know. So I know a lot of you, if not even most of you, know about Quick of Five giving you that 100 points. Was there another zombie I just saw? Yeah, cool. But I'm not sure how many of you actually knew about the fact that apparently every perk on the map, and then by what it looks like, Every perk on every map apparently gives you that hundred dollar or hundred dollars, the hundred points when you go prone at that um, at that perk. So I just showed you every perk on Kino, and I told you I tested it out on also the giant going prone on every perk on the giant as well. I've done it on, for example, one room challenge maps like custom zombies maps. I've done it on multiple other maps. And it does the same damn thing. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video, this tutorial, I guess you could say. It was kind of surprising to me when I first found out. Because I thought that it was only a glitch with Quick Revive. But apparently, it's a thing in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Where if you go prone at any of the perks, it'll give you the extra 100 points. I'm not sure if it's a glitch. But, I mean, if it is, then cool glitch. Extra points. If it's not a glitch... And I'm wondering why Treyarch decided to put that into the game. But anyways, if you like this video, definitely be sure to leave a like rating. Subscribing is definitely much appreciated. Helps out me, the videos, and the channel a lot. Leave a comment down below to let me know what other videos you might want to see me play. Or just any other suggestions or whatever you want to say down below. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Ding on a notification bell, since I don't post a video like every single day, like I kind of want to. It'd be kind of cool to. But with the videos I want to post, it definitely takes some time. 
So definitely go ahead and ding down that notification bell so that way YouTube will send you out a notification however way you have it set up. And that will let you know every single time I post a new video. And I'll see all you ladies and gentlemen in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.